Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all LEGO games on the GameCube. LEGO Drone Racers bears the LEGO franchise, even if very little of the game is LEGO. The cars have LEGO parts, but the rest characters and tracks aren't LEGO. In fact, I bet that if I would have shown you the gameplay footage without telling you the title of the game, you wouldn't have said that it's a LEGO game. Anyway, the game is good. As game mode you get a career mode where you play as Max Axel, a guy that like in every racing game wants to be the best racer ever. You also get the arcade mode where you can play normal and time attack races and the GameCube version also has a 2 player battle mode where you go out with weapons on your friends. You play with special battle cars and you get special battle arenas so if you ever want to play this game always choose the GameCube version, it has more content. In the career mode you play drag races and normal races and with money earned from races you can upgrade your cars and you can even make your own and here at upgrade there's plenty to modify. You can change the wheels, the chassis, body type, engine, aerodynamics, turbo, armor and tires and there are three different types of vehicles in the game. Street, off-road and dragsters. And there are 12 tracks in the game, 4 for every vehicle category. Also I have to complain about the controls, they feel odd, it's nothing you can't get used to, but still even after you get used to the controls they still don't feel quite right. But in rest the game is good, aside of the controls there's nothing I could complain about. Bionicle the game is good on paper, but it's less impressive when you get to play it. There are 8 playable Toas to unlock, but you can split them into actually just 3 types of Toas. You control 3 Toas, each with different elemental attributes, and they roughly control the same. All of them swing their sword and shoot stuff like they have guns. You don't have a sword slash attack though, which is kinda weird, you use the sword only as a gun. The only difference between how they control is that the blue one can swim underwater and the green one can glide. The controls in the game are horrible, they feel stiff and sloppy and sometimes they are unresponsive. It's nice that you get some levels that spice things up like the snowboard levels or the minecart level, you also get boss battles. The game is ok gameplay wise, but for the most part it's just dull. LEGO Star Wars is a game I think doesn't need a review, but if you haven't played it, the game tries to imitate the LEGO Star Wars story using LEGO pieces. It ends up like a very likeable parody of the original material. I mean sure, the action isn't canon, but it sure is fun to watch and the game sure is fun to play. You can destroy stuff and earn studs, you can build stuff when lego pieces are jumping around, you play as two characters which you can switch whenever you want. The game is awesome, it's a joyful experience and the game even has co-op multiplayer. And in multiplayer the game is even more of a beast than in single player. If you haven't played the game yet, you definitely should. Bionicle Heroes is a promising game, but one gameplay flaw made it lose a lot in reviews. Similar to other LEGO games, here too by collecting LEGO pieces you can unlock Hero Mode. Problem is, Hero Mode doesn't go away and while being in the shiny golden mode you take no damage, making the game boring from that point on. Every enemy feels just in the way since you don't take damage anymore and it's mandatory to have the mode on as you need to build stuff while in Hero Mode which means that you can't avoid it to make the game more interesting. I honestly don't know why reviewers complain so much about the hero mode. It's there so that you can progress in the puzzles. And once you do the puzzle the mode goes away. It just tells you that you did enough in that section and you should find the missing puzzle to progress in the game. The hero mode didn't bother me. Most of the game you don't play with that mode anyway, you play it normally. Aside of the mode, the levels are nice, you get multiple characters to play as and you can switch to any character whenever you want. Each character has visually distinct attacks. The game is decent and kind of pleasant to play. 
and LEGO Star Wars 2 the original trilogy covers the original trilogy. The other game covered the prequels. The gameplay is the same, but the difference is in the story, and thus in levels, in the characters you play as, and this game, just like the other one, is amazing too. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.